I got now throttled about 50% right now. Half flaps, and I just lowered the throttle down to about 25%. You want to drive, drive ahead. Hello pilots, welcome back to Motion RC. I'm James and today we're out here on a beautiful, gorgeous Georgia morning and we have the Flightline 1200 millimeter Bearcat. Um, I love this bird. I've been flying it around for a good while now and it was time to update some videos. So uh, we just released a build video on this, a new assembly video for you guys who've never seen this. If you're not familiar with the Flightline uh, 1100 to 1300 millimeter class of warbirds, they are every bit as detailed, I believe, as the larger versions, just in a nice smaller package, easier to fit in your car, but got all the scale features I think in this price range guys are going to want to see. We got retracts, of course, with some nice scale gear doors, so they, uh, they're they mechanically driven, but when the gear when the gear comes back in, when the gear goes up, these close, you don't even see the tires, gives it a nice, that nice Bearcat profile. One of the things I loved about this model too, it comes with eight sticker schemes out of the box. So you've got the Blue Angels, um, one of the original Blue Angels, I believe, which is awesome. I love that scheme, but it also has four uh, Navy designations you could put on it and three RAF schemes in the box as well. So you can really have a field day with what you want to do. As far as CG, I didn't mention it in the assembly, told you I would out here. I'm flying it on the Admiral. 3600 4S uh, battery pack, and I just have that pushed all the way forward. The CG is gonna be 85 millimeters off where the wing meets the uh, fuselage uh, back. So that's where your CG is, but from what I noticed, whether you're flying a 3600, or if you go up to a 4000, which is about the highest recommended battery, all that's gonna do is give you a little more nose weight, which is probably even better off. But that 3600 is perfect for me. I'm getting perfect CG there, and she flies beautifully. Again, I got an Admiral Stability Plus Gyro in it. Shouldn't even need it to help me today. It's not much wind, but either way, I love having that on there, especially for these smaller birds, because if it is a little windy, these things are gonna get knocked around more than, say, the 1600 Corsair, the 1600 Spitfire, what have you. But overall, I think she's awesome. As far as rates go, I've got them set up almost by the book. I just went two millimeters of throws less on both my low and my high. I didn't want as much high and I didn't want, and I wanted a little more than what they recommend low uh, as my low rates. And everything else is just by the book, guys. So let's take it up for a flight. All right, pilots, I am in high rate right now. So for when I taxi, I like the high rate, especially on the elevator, because it's going to help keep your tail on the ground. But the Bearcat, of all the Flightline 1200s, from what I hear, except maybe the Sea Fury, um, it's got that wide stand. She's, she does pretty well on the ground, but you always want to hold that up elevator when you're taxiing so that you don't nose over. Alex, are you ready? Yes, sir. All right, we're going to take off. I like to feed in again with your tail draggers, what I learned from Patrick. Feed it in, feed your throttle in nice and easy as you go. and. Uh, you know, obviously be conscious of your right rudder because even though it's a tail dragger and it does have a wide stance, it can easily get away from you. So you ready? Taking off, right to left. Now I'm just at the half throttle, going up a little more, feed in that right rudder and look, she leaves the ground, gears are ready up and she's out of dodge. So beautiful, let's bring her around. Now I'm gonna Open up the throttle. I'm at full throttle now, and we're going to do full throttle pass. Look at that. I'm going to come up into the vertical. Now I'm still in high rate. Cut the power, hammerhead. Bring her down. Nice. And we're going to throttle right past Alex. And then look at her turn and get out of there. So now I'm going to flick into low rates. That's where I like to be for a majority of these 1200, uh, any Warbird flight. I like to fly at low rate aileron, low rate elevator. Again, we're still at full throttle. Now I'm gonna bring her up. Bit of a chandelle. And now we're gonna come in. How about a big loop? I'm at full throttle, full throttle, full throttle. Cut the power at the top. And then feed the throttle back in. Beautiful. Bring her around again. Let's play with some inverted. See how she does. There we go. 
bring her up and around. Look at that. What a beautiful flyer. I love these 1200. My prop is sounding a little funny up front. We'll have to, that doesn't seem to be affecting me in any way, shape, or form though. So now that we did some high speed passes, I'm gonna drop to half flat and let's show you how she slows down. And I'll do a dirty pass for Alex. So here is now down and I'm less than half throttle and she will just float. So you guys can see, you know, when you're getting ready to land, half flap should be more than enough, especially on a no wind day like I have right now. And now I'm gonna drop the gear again, no flaps this time, and let's try a touch and go. Turn it in, turn it in. Lower in. There we go, and she's gone. Now let's show you again. I have low rate, so there's a low rate roll. Bring her right back around, and let's try. I'm gonna flip her back into high rates, and let's see what the high rate roll is. Nice, a little more maneuverable. That's the beauty of these uh, Flightline Warbirds too, is obviously you can fly them scale, and flying them scale is gorgeous. But they're also sport planes. With that 4S power, I mean, you acrobat aerobatic guys, you're gonna have a lot of fun knife edging, doing all of those kind of maneuvers. I'm gonna bring it into a Cuban, Going up, roll it, push, and then bring her down. And up again, roll it, push, and back down again. Nice. So let's bring her around and check my timer. I have my timer set for five minutes on these. If you guys are flying scale-like, you should be able to get six, seven minutes of flight time. If you're flying more sport, and speed, you should be able to get even more than that. So I still have a minute and 30 on my five minute timer. So I'm gonna bring it around one more time, Alex, and I'm gonna slow her down. And then I'm gonna play in the field a little bit, just to show you that you don't need a lot of space to fly around uh, these smaller warbirds. So I'm about half throttle there. And now speed in some rudder on the turn, and I can play within the trees. Figure eight, open the throttle up. Almost reminds me of the little 850 birds. Keep her nice and low. Nice. I love flying this thing. I enjoyed the first Bearcat I had, but I had, that was my only casualty of the Jolly Good Flying. I dumb thumbed when I was inverted, dumb thumbed it low to the ground after tons of successful flights. All right, we're dropping gear, and I think I'm gonna bring her in for a landing because there's not too much else to show you. So here we go. I got now throttle about 50% right now, half flaps, and I just lowered the throttle down to about 25%. You wanna drive, drive it up. Sit the tail down, high rate to make sure the tail sits there. And there you have it, guys. Woo! Nothing beats that bear cat. Nice and easy to land. Nice and fun. Tons of power for the right price. I think the price on these 1200 millimeter lineup from Flightline, from the 1100 to the TA-152, which is 1300, is priced just about right. But before we get out of here, let's check our cell count. So I have eight seconds left on my five minute timer. Pull the battery out. See, 3600. There it was, again, tucked all the way forward. And we are, <laughs> we're at 45%. What? So <laughs> we got plenty of this, 3.838. So probably a couple, two or more passes, maybe the uh, percentage would have dropped more, but 3.8 volts per cell, that's about a storage charge, so I'll take that. But again, if you're flying this a lot slower, you'll be able to uh, get even more battery life out of these 1200 millimeter warbirds.
All right, guys, so there you have it. That is my flight on the Flightline Bearcat. I've been loving this bird ever since I got it. About two years ago, I had my original one and always took it out and enjoyed it. But it was time to start updating some of those videos. But I hope, you guys, you see that this baby can perform and for even better pilots, and I'm getting there, getting better and better. You're gonna be able to do all sorts of sports stuff with it. It's got the power, and as I said, the price is right. So that'll do it for this flight review, guys. Thanks so much for joining me. Um, if you have any questions at all, please leave them in the YouTube uh, comment section of this video or head over to Motion RC, talk to our CS team. They've been flying their Bearcats for a long time. They know everything about this aircraft and they can help you if you have any sort of issues. Be sure to tune into the assembly video if you just purchased a Bearcat and I'll take you step by step through the entire build, uh, but it's not really that hard at all. But again, guys, thank you so much for joining Motion RC. Like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.